That was a damn good movie, Amos. Damn good movie. Where do I begin? As a Star Wars fan, I'm going to say that I am very pleased at what Mr. J.J. Abrams has done. The movie was good. I gotta say, I was not bored at any part during the movie. It had the right mix of old and new in the movie. There was plot twists and things that happened that you did not know were going to happen. There's a new take on the force and lightsaber duels. Man, I'm trying to gather my thoughts right now because as soon as I get done with this review, it's going to be spoiler talk. And I will announce that. I am going to say that the special effects were top notch. We saw a lot of the TIE fighter and X-wings fighting, not in space, but on in, you know, on a planet, which is something different that we never saw before. Uh, we've got the new droid, BB-8, I believe, which is a, was a crowd favorite right away. You actually wanted to help the droid. You know, he was cute. He was R2-D2-ish, which is exactly what you need to replace R2 if R2's not going to be there. Um, Finn Finn was an interesting character because I never well we've all seen the previews he starts out as a stormtrooper and that's all I'll say for now and it's an interesting how his story how he develops as a character now I understand all the fear and the sweating and the running and him appearing weak in certain areas in the trailers it all makes sense now the girl is the most mysterious I gotta say and the way her character developed will surprise everyone if you've seen only seen the trailers and you haven't heard anything that one right there surprised me because of what the media had been putting out, the way the trailers were made, you did a very good job of hiding the story. Han Solo did a good job as usual, uh, along with Chewbacca. Uh, they also had new characters in there, new aliens, new joints, you know. Um, Kylo Ren, an absolutely troubled villain powerful yet troubled yet adolescent in a way dark character just lost ah oh, man his master similar to the emperor and his controlling power and fear darkness oh, man all these thoughts are still going through my mind you know what I mean I think I'm going to end my review here and say I'm going to give this movie 4 out of 5 woos I didn't feel it was exactly perfect but this is a movie I would definitely buy, okay? And watch many, many, many more times before maybe giving it a five woos. Um, I can't put my finger on it. I feel something, just something small, just to may not have been there to totally make it a five. 
who knows, maybe it's the lightsaber duel. The lightsaber duels. Um, gone are the epic flashiness and finesse, the elegant dance of, you know, power and, you know, uh, uh, you know, martial arts is gone. It's more similar to it's a throwback to the to to the um to the old movies. To you know, it was more hack and slash and more barbaric than elegant, like you know, super trained martial artists. And I thought that that was interesting because I expected a super epic duel in this movie but I did not get that that's probably because I'm such a lightsaber fan that's probably one that that's probably weighing in on why um not five stars because hey you know epic star uh, uh lightsaber duel has to go with a Star Wars movie I'm not saying it wasn't good I'm just saying it wasn't an epic duel okay spoiler talk Finn is not the hero. <laughs> I was like, what? He's not the hero. Ray is the hero. We need to talk about this. The heroine. We need to talk about this. When I said that there's a new take on the force, I'm talking about how they talk about how you need to train a Jedi from when they're young. Now, I know Luke started training later and he caught on pretty fast, but Ray learned real fast. And to tell you the truth, if anyone has ever seen Street Fighter V, which is a offshoot story, like its own arc of Street Fighter II, in there, Ryu, learns to use Hado. And the way he learns it, or learns that he's able to use it, is because they meet with Dao Sing, who can already control Hado, a healing form of Hado. When he does it, it awakens it inside of Ryu. Mm -hmm. And that's how he learns to use it. When Kylo Ren was reading her mind, or trying to read her mind, I was like, okay, he awakened it. Because I'm like, wait a minute, it's supposed to take years to learn this, or at least a few weeks or months, and she's already able to use this? She's doing Jedi mind tricks. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I said, wait, 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 let me, let me go with this. I said, okay. I was like, you don't learn it? Oh, okay, he awakened it. I get it. And that's how she was able to push back. That was intimidating as fuck fuck for him, wasn't it? I know I'm going to be all over the place with this. Um, he, when he, he is a very, he, with the mask on, especially, he's a very menacing villain. With the voice, with his control of the force, you remember in the beginning where he stopped the laser blast in midair and held it there? I was like, What? Just the sound of his, the sounds of the lightsabers are a little different, more menacing, more powerful, more more deep and vibrating. It's it's different. Um, once he took the mask off, that's not the face of a villain. Uh, he didn't scare me whatsoever. The mask on, he scares me. Without the mask, he doesn't scare me. That's probably why he wears the mask. Very troubled. We all know by now, it's Han Solo's son. Which makes me wonder who Rey is. Is she related to them? Is she their daughter? Yada yada. I don't know who she is. Is she Luke's daughter? Who is she? Um, but what's interesting is that as a villain, he, 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 he showed his weakness early which I was surprised. I thought he was going to be pretty menacing and maybe till the end or something like that or maybe in another episode, but 
when he showed how weak he was when he threw that tantrum, and he threw a tantrum again later, and I was just like, wow, this is really, and it's really interesting, really kind of weird. And then remember when Han said he's got too much Vader in him? Remember how Anakin, you know, this is my new empire. Like he was grown, but he was still like a young, troubled kid. I'm wondering how he got that way. I really am wondering how he got that way. Um, Leia's in there. Uh, I was very interested to find out what her dynamic, what the dynamic would be between her and Han. And I thought that it was interesting. You know, I, you know, you could tell that they still loved each other, but apparently they had separated. You know, he went back to smuggling. She went back to rebelling. I, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, BB-8, I, I love that little droid. I do. I can't wait for him and R2 to do something together, to whoop ass together. Remember when him and uh, Finn Cooper? <laughs> that was cool. Um, uh, Millennium Falcon, uh, epic, epic. Just epic, you know that 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 battle that her and Finn got into together, where he was gun, you know, manning the guns and she was flying. I was like, this girl is extraordinary. What the hell is going on here? I, you know, I thought this guy was supposed to be, you know, this you know, latent Jedi, you know, uh, powers, uh, but uh, I don't think so, you know. Um, at the trap, at the trap. He's in there. Didn't he bite the bullet? He bit the bullet in the fight, didn't he? In, in uh, X-Wing battle at the end. What's up with that? Now, you know, I thought it was kind of cliche for them to have another Death Star type, you know, threat. Uh, you know, but it was a different take. You know, it sucked the power of a star, all the power. And then, boom, it shoots it out. And weren't they just like the damn Nazis that dude was giving that speech? And I did. Oh, I was like, oh, damn. That's what they always did have a Nazi ish type of uh, vibe with them. Um, that 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 one uh, stormtrooper, she she was kind of cool. You know, the one in that silver armor, chrome armor. You know, I thought it was interesting how Finn was, you know, He's like this guy that, you know, snatched as a child or an infant from his family and raised and given an alphanumeric name. And that's all he knows is his training as a stormtrooper. I was kind of like, wow, man, that's that's fucked up. You know what I mean? And then for him to say, no, I'm not going to kill these people, you know, and turn you know right around to being good. Now, what's funny was... It was almost like a, it, but it was like a bait and switch. When Kylo Ren was boarding his ship and he looked at Finn, you know, you're like, well, like, oh, damn, like he feels him. He feels his, um, you know, disagreements and maybe the force within this guy. That's what made you think. But then, you know, as the movie's going along, I'm like, man, this is a strong female character. She's kicking ass with the staff. You know what I mean? Like, excuse me, then there's the whole thing with the Force between her and Kylo Ren. And then remember when uh, Finn tries to fight him later on, and we never get to see that. You never get to see that. I was hoping that was going to be in the movie, like, you know, but it wasn't. Um, but... Um, you knew something was going to happen. You knew she was going to grab it. Like, she's attaining the force at a rate that I've never seen. Like, this just crash course. Like, she, I was like, okay, now she's okay. Now she's dueling with him. I really felt like when she got the upper edge on, on Kylo Ren that Luke was speaking to her. Remember that when they were on the cliff? I think Luke was speaking to her and guiding her. That's what, that's, that's my take on it. Um, now, if anyone has kept their ear to the ground with Star Wars, 
They know what the actors talk about. They know Harrison Ford and how he feels about the Han Solo character and how he wanted it to, him to die. It's no came as no surprise for Han to die. Um, I thought it was so sick and twisted, like one of those just sick, twisted youths, the way it happened. And, you know, you know, as soon as he saw him, I was like, here we go, on Han's exit. But the way it was done was so troubling. It was like, damn, you know, it's like, it's, it's his son, he's trying to bring him back. And you know he's struggling with it. He's like a damn kid inside. And when he said, like, he's trying to break free from that pain. And he didn't know if he could. And he asked him, could he help? And he was like, anything. It's like, yeah, give your life so I can break free from this, you know, coming back to you and mom or to go to the dark side. And when he was holding on to his lightsaber, I was like, he's going to kill him right now. I didn't like that at all, but I knew it was coming. I knew Chewie was gonna go off, which is what exactly is what he did. Oh man, but yeah, all in all that movie was good. I had a really good time. I know some of y'all say five out of five woos. Right now I gotta give it four out of five because I feel like something was slightly missing. I can't really put my finger on it, but I loved the movie. Okay, damn near perfect. Now, Luke. Luke was kind of, an it was a little, I don't know, anticlimactic, uh, you know. You know, it's, he's old now. <laughs> you know, I expected it to be a little bit more epic, his revealing, his entrance, but it was still really good. And although I felt felt as though in that last shot, instead of, you know, whatever you call it, I'm not a you know movie expert as far as filming terms go, but you know how they were like panning around, both of them were holding it out. And it, I felt as though, it, you know, hey, I'm just saying, you know, in my opinion, it should have either ended with her just like and him looking back or, you know, like her reaching out, him turning around and her still holding it. And then, dun, 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 dun. As, you know, that's how I thought. But, you know, it's, I'm just, that's just nitpicking. It doesn't mean anything. But um, I knew he wasn't going to have a big part in the movie whatsoever. Um, and you know, it was weird. You know, when I knew, when I pretty much knew where I was like, wait a minute, I thought Finn was the hero, was when she touched the lightsaber and all those memories and premonitions and all that stuff ran through her. I was like, wait a minute. I said, no, I just hold. I was like, wait a minute, why would she have these, the, this, the premonitions? Shouldn't it be Finn going through something like this? You know, so. Um, very well put together. It's a nice twist to see this. She's probably going to be his Kylo Ren's fucking sister. Who knows? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. Extraordinary movie, Mr. J.J. Abrams. You have done a damn good job with this. And make sure you, you cast me as Finn's uncle, cousin, or something. I'm, but I need to be a Sith Lord or something like that. And the next movie. Thank you. One million subscribers. Woo!